It's Doc Williams, and today we're going to learn how to draw Lewis dot structures. In our last video, we learned how to use the periodic table to determine the number of valence electrons in an atom. Lewis dot structures show us the number of valence electrons around an atom. They consist of the chemical symbol and the dots that represent the number of valence electrons. These diagrams can help us to see where bonds can be formed between two or more atoms, and they're easier to construct than the Bohr's models that we used in our last video. Let's look at sodium as our first example. Sodium has one valence electron. In order to draw the Lewis dot structure for this, we will write the chemical symbol and one dot to represent its one valence electron. Our next example is carbon. Carbon in group 14 has four valence electrons. When we draw the Lewis dot structure for carbon, we want to spread our electrons out around carbon first in singles and then allow for pairs. So we put one at the top, the side, the bottom, and the side. This shows that we have four spots for carbon to form bonds. Our next example is sulfur. Sulfur is in group 16, so it has six valence electrons. When we draw the Lewis dot structure for this, we will start with the symbol, and just like with carbon, we're going to place our first four valence electrons separate. Then we will double up the remaining two, five and six. The arrangement of the Lewis dot structures I should say the arrangement of the electrons in the Lewis dot structures tell us where we have bonds that can be formed. Any single electrons have room for a bond, but the pairs do not have room for a bond. So sulfur has room for two bonds. It wants to find two more electrons to fill an octet, whereas carbon wants to form four more bonds um, in order to gain the remaining four electrons in order to fill its octet. Sodium being a metal in group one wants to donate its one electron to drop down to a full octet. Another example is fluorine. Fluorine is in group 17, which means it has seven, seven valence electrons. We draw the chemical symbol of fluorine, and then we begin to place the dots around fluorine. First, spread them out, one, two, three, four, and then pairing them up, five, six, seven. This shows us that fluorine has um, wants to gain one more electron in order to have a full octet, therefore it will form one bond. Now you practice drawing Lewis dot structures for chlorine, potassium, and nitrogen. Chlorine is in group 17 and it has seven valence electrons. So we would draw chlorine, the chemical symbol, spread out our first four valence electrons and then double them up. Potassium is in group one and has one valence electron. We'll write our chemical symbol with one dot. And nitrogen is in group 15, which means it has five valence electrons. We would draw our chemical symbol, spread out our dots first, and then double them up. To summarize how to draw Lewis dot structures, you want to first write your chemical symbol, determine the number of valence electrons by using the periodic table in its group number, and then draw dots around the chemical symbol to equal the number of valence electrons. Remember to separate, then pair. For example, nitrogen, which has five valence electrons, we will spread them out first, then pair them up. But what we would not do is pair them up as we draw. This is not correct. This one is correct. 
Okay, guys, this should help you to complete the activities that you have in this unit. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me.